something I learned quickly is that when having depression, it's very hard to go to school and be around others. Being a teenager is already hard enough, but adding a few mental illnesses inside the confused mind of a teen, going through breakups, puberty, and all the other things only God knows we deal with, we became a ticking time bomb. I turned out to be one of those time bombs, and man, did I explode. I could go into the medical explanation of depression, but it's already very much self-explanatory. Being around others, and then there's an uncomfortable pit in my stomach, an itch that I can never seem to scratch, make me want to run from people and their thoughts about me. I was a mind reader. I pretended to know what my peers at school thought about me, most of the thoughts being miraculous and crippling to the point of tears streaming down my face in the bathroom stall at school. The thoughts weren't true, but the anxiety made me so insecure that I started to believe everything I thought. They consumed me. It became a web of darkness cradling me and consuming all of me at once. I did what my body told me to do. I ran. I stopped going to school, missing a few days at a time. Then all at once, before I knew it, I became a dropout. But I was safe. No one knew what was wrong. But of course, my parents were concerned for their 15-year-old dropping out in their sophomore year of high school. I thought it was okay. I hid from everyone in their thoughts. But I started to become anxious about missing school. I soon found myself becoming trapped in the web again, hearing my own thoughts shout in my head. You're nothing. You're never going to go anywhere. I became depressed. Now scars were becoming visible on my body. I showed my anxiety of what I thought people thought about me. Immediately, my parents took action and brought me to the hospital all at once. Everyone realized it wasn't easy. Doctors started to give me medication that sounded like it came from a Dr. Seuss book, and friends began to reach out to me. When others left, I slowly got my courage and self-esteem up, just fast enough to get back into school without the help of doctors friends and my parents I wouldn't be here today I'd like I'd be stuck in that web now I just keep taking each day one step at a time letting myself heal learning to like myself even if it's just little things I have finally begun to shut out the voices that fed me the lies for so long I'm not saying that I'm cured but I'm definitely in a better place for now I'll take it one day at a time people's thoughts about me were the things that I most feared of, but in the end, the bigger monster I had to face was myself.